All right, jig heads, welcome back to the channel. I only had about 50 minutes to catch lunch today, but we got ourselves a crappie catch and cook. Stick around for the action. Mm, there's a hit, there's a hit, got him. That's a solid one, guys. My golly, we just may pull off enough for lunch. Gotta love it, let's get him in there. It has been one heck of a morning though, y'all. I started 6.15 at this bridge, caught one good fish, drove across the lake, caught one good fish, drove back to this spot, and I just put a nice 13 and a half inch white crappie in the bucket right before I turned the camera on. Literally right now is the first time I've recorded all morning because it has not been a productive day to say the least. I got about 45 minutes left and I figured we'd give the bridge an opportunity to produce maybe a few more fish before the morning's over. It's gotta redeem itself, you know what I mean? The bridge has been treating me pretty good so why not come back and fish it? That's a better fish. Uh, Better-ish. He still won't bump in. Blunk. Got him. That's a solid one, guys. Yep, that's a dang good fish. Let's take a look. We can swing him. And yeah, that's two good quick fish in the bucket. We'll put him up in there. Let me show you guys the one I caught just a second ago. This one's a pig. Yeah, take a look at that one. I mean, both good fish, but this is just a toad. Gotta love it, let's get them in there. All right, we probably got about 30 more minutes. We keep popping fish like that, we may just get it done. It's like speed fishing down here right now, guys. I gotta go pick up some furniture for the misses here a little bit later today. And I got some Carter's fish, fish breading, which is a local kind of fast food. Uh, not really fast food, but local little joint that fries fish. They got their own breading. And I figured I'd give it a shot. And I was wanting to catch some crappie down here this morning that uh, we could fry up later. But that guy ain't going to cut it. We're going to keep at it, though. Just gotta put that jig right in the right spot to get bit. If you're not right in between those pylons, then you're not getting bit. All right, we're gonna pop a big one on this cast right here. Let's get it. Another small fish. My hook sets are a little wonky down here today, guys, because I got quite a bit of wind putting a ton of bow in my line. So you really got to rear back on these things to get a hook set. Oh, I know there's got to be at least two or three more big guys in there. The wind is not in my favor right here. All right, let's go to the other side. She's a 
hot rod, bud. Now the wind's going to work for us instead of against us on this side. That's a good one. Just had to make a little move. Make the wind work in our favor. Yep. Now hold still. Got him right in the bottom lip. Another quality fish. My golly, we just may pull off enough for lunch. Three good fish in 20 minutes. 20 more to go. I'd say we got a pretty good shot. Oh, yep, we definitely got four. That's a good one. Yep. That's actually probably enough for lunch right there, guys, but I still got a little bit of time left, so let's try and pop a few more. is time is up but I'm not ready to quit yet so we're gonna give it a snooze we just got a lot of nine bonus fishing minutes all right we'll, we'll see if we can't knock down a couple more That's the one I'm looking for there, I think. Sure feels like it. Uh, he may be close. We're going to put him on the bumper just to check and see. He might go. He's worth checking. Oh, yeah. Ten and a half. Yeah, that's number five. So that's not too shabby. We definitely have enough for lunch. All right, the bonus nine minutes is up. We got to go. All right, guys, just getting back to the house. I spared you of the first three hours of today's fishing trip, but man, those last 50 minutes, they were well worth getting out there this morning. Ended up coming home with five really nice slabs, and I think it's time we get these things cleaned up and ready for lunch. I actually have a previous video out on how I fillet these fish. I'm doing it a little bit different today. I've been working on my knife skills and uh, trying to save a lot of the rib meat off of these fish. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I've been doing that here. Okay guys, so we got our crappie fillets cleaned and ready to be released in the grease. I did go ahead and pre-make some sweet potato waffle fries to go with this. And I think we're going to keep today's uh, crappie fry just real simple. We're going to do a simple crappie sandwich. Uh, going to be using some Carter's Market fish breading. Uh, local fish market here in the Springfield, Illinois area. Some say they've got the best fried fish in town. I don't know. I tend to think I do. But we'll use their breading and see how it turns out. 
All right, we're gonna get these crappie fillets shook off a little bit and then just get them evenly coated in this Carter's Market fish breading. This is their spicy version of that. And we're just gonna give those crappie fillets a little toss in the bowl. Realized I didn't have any one gallon Ziploc bags right before I started this, so. Bowl works too. And we're gonna get probably about five of these coated up and then drop them in the grease. All right, y'all, we're gonna let those fry till they float. I'll check back with, in with you in just a second. Oh yeah, those are looking good. Smelling good, guys. We're gonna get this last batch out and we'll get a sandwich made. Stick around. Now when I say traditional, I mean traditional. We got two slices of bread, some sliced onions and pickles, and we're just gonna throw a little hot sauce on it, guys. I'm looking forward to this. I think we're even gonna double it up. Alright y'all, let's see how it tastes. Yeah, I'd say there's a reason why Carter's Market uh, is said to have the best fish in town. That breading is amazing. Uh, probably the best breading that I've had on fish. Anyway guys, I'm going to finish my sandwich here. I appreciate you guys coming along with me on this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel, and remember folks, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I'll see you on the next one.